Hey y'all, this is Erica with Frazier and I'm here with the town of Westlake to go over their new Type 1 14 foot truck. I'm Richard Witten, I'm the fire chief with the town of Westlake Fire EMS Department. This is Deputy Chief John Ard. So we are here to do our acceptance inspections. And this is our department's third vehicle with Frazier. Sweet. So a few things on the chassis. Um, tell us about some things that might be different from the last truck that you had versus this new one. One of the things is we went to a four wheel drive vehicle. Mainly it's for the icy conditions during the winter. And we have a lot of hills in our area and it, they just, we still ended up having to go back and put chains on the vehicles. So this time around we opted to try the four wheel drive version because it's one, it's cheaper and four wheel drive systems are a lot more reliable now than they have been in the past. So we're trying awesome. that out as a new feature. Cool. All right, so what might be some updated features on this truck versus your older Frasier that you're trading in? Well, the big thing that's different on this outside is these compartments. So one is the latches. So these latches are so much more ergonomically correct as opposed to the other ones. So it really opens easy. And then the great thing, they close easy. Yes. It's like you're not having to slam these compartments and force that air out. They just close real gentle. And if you'll demonstrate that, it's just that simple. And they're closed. The other ones, you couldn't do that. So this is a lot uh, greatly improved feature both the door latch as well as the door. We did have that electric step that slide out and with the latest upgrade we've you know now the three step is inside it's actually a cleaner look from the outside and uh, this is a lot more stable feature and I think actually an improved version so we greatly appreciate awesome. that. Improvement of course we can thank engineering for that. Yes. <laughs> So you guys have been a Frasier customer for a long time. Um, I know we have a couple different power options. Which one did you guys go with and why? Well, we went the generator model. Uh, one is, you know, it's one of the things really that pulled us to the Frasier is the fact that the module runs independent of the chassis. Um, in the beginning, it was just not a reliable system for the module to be dependent on the chassis. So it's really been, a, it's proven to be a very effective system. And then another great feature, you know, is this Onan, it also provides that um, secondary start stop switch in the back, so. So you're able to turn the Onan on and off without having to go to the truck? Yeah, absolutely, because a lot of times you're actually back at the back of the box and you realize that, you know, you need to start the generator. So it gives you that, you know, other starting point. Awesome. So I know we've done a different 14 foot configuration. We've eliminated the long lower and we've changed up some storage options. Why don't you tell us about this rear storage compartment and how you guys have chosen to lay it out? Okay, well we are a fire and EMS department and we do require the personnel assigned to the ambulance to carry their suppression equipment with them because if they go on a structural call or a fire call, they could be assigned to actually be engaged in fighting fire. So with that, they have to keep their bunker gear with them. So with that, that's what this compartment serves. So this compartment will actually allow us to keep the air packs in as, as well as their bunker pants and coat and helmets. So it provides the hooks for their helmet and hang the coats on as well. So that's what this compartment will serve. Y'all have done a fantastic job of organizing this. And as you know, with vehicles, complexes and ambulances, there's wiring all over the place. And knowing what each one of those wiring components goes to is a nightmare. So instead of having to go in and look through a manual and stuff, Frazier's done a fantastic job of providing a diagram out next to the electrical compartment. And it's very uh, user friendly, it's easy to read, very well marked and identified and it, as you see it on the panel is the way it's laid out into the compartment. So it's very functional. So well job on that design. Okay. things that we were excited about in this new vehicle is this mm -hmm. harness system. If we're transporting uh, for a long time, uh, we can have the paramedic who's in charge of the patient get secured. That's something previously we didn't have. Um, and the, the flexibility of this material is, is really good as well. Uh, another exciting feature is actually this uh, heart monitor mount. 
And it, what it does is it's keep the monitor secure so that in the event we have a, a rough ride or possibly an accident, then we can actually uh, keep that monitor secure so it doesn't go anywhere and, and injure anybody. So that's a new feature for us. The next new feature that we have that we like is this restocking feature up here in the cabinet, as Eric is showing us. So what it does is when we're needing to change out our inventory from ambulance to ambulance or just restock, it's a lot easier to access this compartment. So we decrease our time, we improve our efficiency by doing that. So that's really nice and convenient. So John, why don't you tell us about the squad bench storage and what problems you guys had before you had this kind of storage? Sure. Uh, what this has done is give us the ability for when we're trying to perform an IV on a patient, uh, this can actually have IV supplies of all different types of catheters um, and other uh, associated equipment. In addition to this, it actually is equipped on the other side and it also has that ability so that if, depending on whatever side we're actually positioned, we'll be able to get that uh, IV established for the patient. In addition, we also have more of the Life Defender um, inventory management up here as we do around most of the vehicle. At the end of the squad bench is another feature that we really like that we did not have previously. That was with this grab bar so that when if we have rough a ride back here, the paramedic can have something to hang on to. But also another additional feature is actually this uh, inventory management basically for the gloves. What this does is give uh, the paramedic a ability to put on a new set of gloves. If he's positioned here, if he's ripped some, he can grab them easily without moving or getting up so he can remain secured. In addition, if you're outside this vehicle and you need to get gloves from inside, you don't actually have to step in. You can just open the door and then grab the gloves from here. On behalf of the staff at the Westlake Fire EMS Department, I would like to thank Erica and Frazier. You've been a pleasure to work with Aww. and made this process very seamless, um, enjoyable, and definitely have um, satisfied customers. And we look forward to the next project with y'all. Awesome. I can't wait to see this truck actually at your brand new station. Well, you have to stop by. I'm going to have to stop out. by. Yeah, yes. it's going to be great. If you enjoy seeing this kind of content, feel free to check out our website and subscribe to see more customer deliveries, videos, and get more information.